has arrived in the mid-Atlantic region of the U.S., and it is a glorious afternoon at M&T Bank Stadium in Baltimore. Today, it's an AFC North matchup between the Cleveland Browns and the Baltimore Ravens. Brissett going to go to the air right away. And there is Amari Cooper, his first catch. Two are, stay with who you know, and go get the first down. That's exactly what they did. Play fake, Brissett. He's going to drop this one down for Chubb. And he'll... Guys out of the backfield. And on the first drive, that can also help establish some rhythm, right? I think so. It gets everyone involved. They feel like they're part of it. And really gets them amped up as they go forward. Now he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. Here comes the seventh play of this opening drive. They've moved it well, but here's third down. Brissett sets to throw it. It is caught out left by Bell. Defensive side, is it? Defense understanding, as you noted, where the first down marker was and making sure they didn't get there. They go play action with Brissett. And he's going to be taken down, sacked by the Touchdown versus holding him to a field goal. That's absolutely huge with the play he just made. Yeah, you know, he hated taking the loss there on third down. York able to send this one through. And the Browns are out to a 3 nothing lead. Jackson and the Ravens come up now first and 10, just shy of the 30. Here's a play fake as they set up to throw. That ball caught, it's Mark Andrews, the tight end. Hey, just jump on and hold on and wait for your teammates to arrive to help get him on the ground. Jackson on first down. That's complete, it's Rashad Bateman. Didn't even get going, moving the football. The 22 is the line to gain here on third down. To throw is Jackson. That's for Bateman and it's intercepted. Picked off by John Johnson. And the Browns are going to take possession of the football. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. On the delay, here's Hunt. And he can only manage to get a couple. Well, a good field position to start the drive, but under the gun now here on third and eight. Brissett now. That is caught at the seven. Throwing the ball, and I'm not even thinking about play pass. I'm going to let them know right away I'm throwing it, but I'm probably giving my quarterback some room, sprint him out to one side or the other, and give him an opportunity. If it breaks down, he can take off and run the ball or what, oh, right? Yeah. This is an old-fashioned goal line stand. I know what I would call on offense. I would go for it. I want some type of a play for my quarterback. And yeah, that's going to be caught for a Browns touchdown. David Bell from three yards out. And the Browns' decision to go for it pays off with six points. Big fourth down conversion for the score and the defense. That is a tough pill to swallow. Big time for them. How about them just deciding to go for it on fourth down? And, oh, okay, forget the field goal because that looked like an easy three. 10-0 to score after one on EA Sports. Second quarter now from Baltimore. It's the Ravens in possession as they are looking at a second and five situation. Now it's Jackson. And his throws. They come up now third and five following the incomplete pass. Jackson. Setting up the screen here to Edwards. And a good tackle there right around the 30. Stops him short of the defensively. the play fake. Here's Brissett. Right back to Cooper, and he got him again. Contact going on. The Browns on third down. They've hit two for four thus far. They're up against a third and one situation. Here's Brissett. He's got his tight end, David Njoku. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. No problem. They get a connection there and pick up a fresh set of downs, continuing to move the ball. On first down, they'll run with Chubb. 
And he'll take it into the end zone for a Browns touchdown. 19 yards for Nick Chubb. And his guy's now an extra point away from taking a three-score lead. So the first drive ended in three. This time they take it down and punch it in the end zone. So that first drive felt like they were just gathering knowledge, didn't it? Just enough to kick the field goal on the first one. And the second time, three scores already. You've done nothing offensively, nothing on the scoreboard. That's that's not a good combination. I think you just you called it. I think you just called it desperation time. I, I think did. you did. But yeah. let's face it, you mentioned this to me in a break earlier in the game. The energy level hasn't been there right from the start. They are in need of six yards here if they hope to move the chains. On third down, Jackson. And that's going to be caught. It's James Prochet. Because they throw a lot of misdirection at you. They try and fool you and get your eyes in the wrong place. But you're right about that one. He correctly figured that one out and made a really nice play. And they're going to have another first down. And Ward and him taking hits. I'm not sure that's the payoff they were looking for. Throwing on second and eight, Jackson. That's into the hands of Prochet. What you have to do, maintain your poise and start to put together some drives. Jackson now. Flushed out, and he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. Defensively, they're in a prime spot. And I think the defensive guys are probably expressing themselves to them as well. I wouldn't run it here, guys. You might want to try throwing it. He'll set up the screen to Drake. And he'll be taken down after a gain of about eight. So Jackson will head to the Ravens' sideline, and on comes Justin Tucker for the field goal try. From the right hash at a bit of a tight angle. Tucker's kick is good. So a concern. So after the second down incompletion, they'll come up now against a third and six. From the shotgun, it's Brissett. That's complete to Bell over the middle. They're going to have to. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and ten. Brissett again. And that's going to be caught by Peoples-Jones. And they're going to get this. They go play action with Brissett. That's complete to Peoples-Jones. So they just need one yard here to pick up the first down. They'll throw again. Brissett. Touchdown, Browns! Amari Cooper in the final seconds of the first half. And the Browns will extend their lead here just before halftime. There was no going through the progressions on that touchdown pass. Yeah, nor was it necessary. His receiver won that route early, presented himself. No reason to wait. Go ahead and put it on him and score a touchdown. Extra point by York. Exactly the point where we're doing four-minute offense yet. But they've got to think about, I'm not going to say milking the clock, but understanding clock management here on out. They'll run with Hunt on second down. And they're able to get this one across the 35. There, that may get him going. I was just going to say, maybe that gives him a little juice, because you're right, he struggled, especially in that first half. Yeah, and I know the great ones always think to themselves, just hang in there. I'm just one big carry away from Buston. Field? Equally good. They tried to throw on second down, unsuccessful. Now it's third and one. To throw, Brissett. Quick throw, and he's got Amari Cooper. And they're right there in that middle ground, field goal range, punt, go for it. But as you said, they picked it up. A first down throw for Brissett. Now he's forced out left. And eventually taken down here. Great coverage downfield. Big time sack. Now they're in some hot water now. After that sack, it's second and 21. Out of the gun, Brissett. Under pressure, and they got to him again. How many times did we talk about complimentary football? We usually talk about does the offense help the defense? Does the defense help the offense? I think in this case, does the quarterback help out his offensive line? You only have a certain amount of time to get rid of the football. They can almost down, 
or a check down. In other words, look for the big shot, but be smart. I think they did exactly that on that play. They didn't get the first down, but they're taking care of the ball well. Yeah, and being rightly cautious with that lead here in the second half. Previous run, good for nine. Here's second and a yard. Oh, the option right is Jackson. And a very determined run there. Here's second and five now from the 22. And now Jackson will look to throw it. Gets past one man. And he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. Okay. If we gain yardage on this play, this is what we'll do going forward. If we lose yardage, this is the play call that I'll have ready. Meanwhile, on third down, they take a shot at the end zone, but it's incomplete. I've got to go for it right here. The clock's dwindling on me. Let's go get it done. Tucker's kick is good, and the deficit drops now from 21 down to 18. Also not going pell-mell like you would in two-minute offense. This is what NFL offenses call four-minute football. Take the clock out of the game a little bit, wind it down, but at the same time, looking for Cooper, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Marlon Humphrey. And the Ravens are going to take possession of the football. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. They'll start by running the option to the right. And they'll get him down after. Then they looked up and realized he's still got good yardage out of it. He's a tough guy to stop. And Jackson going to run again. And they're knocking on the door now. Three quarters have come and gone. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now in Baltimore. Now they'd really like to make the short field pay off. We'll see if they can, but this is third and goal. Jackson. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Ravens touchdown. Lamar Jackson, a nine-yard touchdown run. And the Ravens are finally into the end zone here in this fourth quarter. This defense, so many things to worry about in the red zone area, but you'd have to almost think that Lamar Jackson running the football, that might be number one. It should be number one. And in this portion of the game, lead at halftime, it's down to a two-score game. And so the obvious thought is they've got to wrap things back up again. Got to get the offense into high gear. But we've seen this before. When you've kind of been in shutdown mode for a while, thinking that you're trying to keep them from locking down a game, Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. And that's caught inside the 35. Above all, stay in bounds. Yes, take care of the football. Yes, gain yardage, but stay in bounds and let that clock tick. He's got a man complete. Touchdown. David Njoku, 33 yards. And the Browns have pretty well put it away here in the fourth quarter. So that drive there, CD, a good response, and that might be the one that gets them to the finish line, a comfortable lead. Yeah, and that's all about not letting the team back into a game because they just gave up a touchdown. It was back to a two-score game, and anything can happen in that situation. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Now it's Jackson. And he's able to find Wallace. And able to get this with this game off. Not yet. Not a chance. Not with him. We've seen it too many times. On first and ten, it's Jackson. He rifles one that's intercepted. Now he's hit on the return. It's a loose football. And the offense is going to get the ball back. After all that, heck, it'll be a first down. Jackson leaves it with Edwards on the draw. And the Ravens on third down, lacking much success, just two for seven to this point. This is third and eight. Here's Jackson to throw. They'll set up the screen to Drake. 
And he gets this only to the 41. You're not getting the benefits of run after catch. You're tackling him almost on the spot. That means you have to run extra plays, harder to move it. And he's got his tight end. That's Andrews for come here in the fourth. But a nice first down and a pickup on that throw. Yeah, and this is where as coaches, you're looking for effort and execution, even though the scoreboard is going against you. You want to find out who's going to fight, who's going to scrap. Needing the tough yards, they run it with their fullback. And he gets the first down yardage. Instead, he thought to himself, I'm a quarterback. I've got to throw it. He bailed out the defense with that incompletion. Second down and goal. Jackson. And it's caught. And in for the Ravens touchdown. James Crochet from six yards away. And the Ravens have got it back to a two-score game here in the fourth. And that touchdown puts us in a position to have a discussion, doesn't it? Now, it'll be a two-score game after the conversion. Yeah, I mean, there's no doubt with a two-score game, they're going to have to onside kick it. We'll just see if they've got a miracle up their sleeve. Two scores down, three timeouts left. Still a chance if they can somehow get this one back. And the Browns are able to cover this one up. They knew they needed a miracle. They had to have that onside kick. Did indeed. I think we're down to none. the middle. It's Chubb. And so they're into it over. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way. And this will be on the ground as well as they come up second and seven. And again, it's Chubb. And all the way down inside the five to the four. So it's a win here for the Cleveland Browns. And it was all thanks to the play of their veteran quarterback. Yeah, he was just on target all afternoon with three touchdown passes. They couldn't find a way to stop him, and ultimately, he guided them to victory.